Ontario's announcement this morning is responsible and necessary. We will continue working alongside all partners to get the situation under control. This morning, I had a direct call with President Biden to talk about our shared challenges at the border. I updated him on the situation, particularly in Windsor. We discussed the American and indeed global influences on the protest. We talked about the U.S.-based flooding of the 911 phone lines in Ottawa, the presence of U.S. citizens in the blockades, and the impact of foreign money to fund this illegal activity. President Biden and I both agree that for the security of people and the economy, these blockades cannot continue. So make no mistake, the border cannot and will not remain closed. I want to remind everyone that politicians don't direct police in a democratic society, but I can assure you that the RCMP is working with provincial and local police departments to enforce the law. Everything is on the table because this unlawful activity has to end and it will end. Of course, I can't say too much more now as to exactly when or how this ends because unfortunately we are concerned about violence. So we're taking every precaution to keep people safe. But the absolute safest way for this to end is for everyone to return to your communities now. If you're still participating in illegal blockades, you're hurting your neighbors. So it's time to go home, especially if you have kids with you. But we are a long way from ever having to call in the military, although, of course, we have to be uh, ready for any eventuality, uh, but uh, it is not something we are seriously contemplating at this time.